Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me today. Today, we are going to be discussing Project Venue, a multimedia live streaming service app. Have you ever wanted to watch a concert or show, but couldn't? Well, if you're like me, you might have said, Oh, well, I had no money. Oh, I had no transportation. Oh, well, it was located too far away. Or maybe it was work. Or maybe it was the family. Or you were on vacation. Or you were even just out with your friends. Well, what if I said I came up with an answer to your problems? Venue. Or venue.com. With Venue, you'll be able to watch live shows and concerts from anywhere. Plus, it'll be affordable and easy to use, no matter what age you are. I'm sure that we have all heard of the giant concert, Coachella. Well, how many of you actually went to Coachella and how many of you would have gone to Coachella if you had the chance now I know we have all heard of Katy Perry well what about her new witness tour I'm sure some of us would have liked to at least take a peek at it or checked it out and I'm sure you probably even couldn't go to it Probably for the same reasons that you couldn't go to Coachella, right? Well, not with Venue. Well, now that I've caught your interest, what exactly does Venue do? And how is Venue going to work? Well, allow me to show you with this Venue app prototype. Hello everybody, and this is part two of Project Venue, a multimedia live streaming app. Welcome to the Venue app prototype. Now I'm sure you'll see the two main things, which is a main bar interface and a user bar interface. So let's go ahead and start jumping into the app and seeing what exactly it can do. For the main bar interface, you'll notice that it has a home button, calendar, a ticket stub, a search, and a QR and barcode reader. For the user bar, which is located at the top, you can notice a user profile and a menu button. The way Venue works is really complicated, so let's go ahead and sum it up with this very simple illustration. Katy Perry will have a concert, and with Venue, we will have the power to stream this concert straight through a Venue-secured internet connection, and from there, depending on which platform that you happen to be watching on, whether if it's something mobile or at home, you will be able to watch that Katy Perry concert from anywhere, even if you're in Long Beach or if you're all the way in Amsterdam. So now that we've seen Venue and we know the process of how Venue will work, well, what exactly does Venue do? So let's start with the menu button. When a user selects the menu button interface, the user will have a wide variety of things to pick from and to browse through. The menu button interface will switch between genres, 
explore new artists, explore new genres, and it'll allow them to customize it inside of the settings. So now that we've seen how the menu button works, let's go ahead and try to get to a show. Hmm, is that Nicki Minaj I see down there underneath Daft Punk? Hmm, well, she is pretty hot, so let's check out her show. As our user goes ahead and selects Nicki Minaj, notice how the screen changes. Take note of what things that the user will be able to see and what things might change as the user goes ahead and checks out various features that Nicki Minaj offers for this particular concert or tour. One thing you'll notice right off the bat is that it'll offer cheaper tickets. It's going to offer digital tickets with included packages. It's going to have instant merchandise shopping, meaning if Nicki Minaj has exclusive stuff that she's selling only at this show, you'll be able to buy it even though you're not physically at this show. And on top of that, you'll have multi-platform social media sharing available as well. But aside from all that, let's take a little look at the main bar interface located at the bottom of the app. And let's take a little bit to take a look at the calendar section. Let's say you knew about this concert months ago. Well, the calendar allows you to go ahead and set reminders for upcoming concerts from any artist. You'll be notified about upcoming shows. You'll be able to schedule shows and concerts. And on top of that, you'll be able to go ahead and notify people through social network by various social media applications, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and others. But for now, let's continue on with purchasing our ticket for this Nicki Minaj show. Now that our user has gone ahead and tapped the ticket section, we can now see what type of digital tickets are offered at this Nicki Minaj concert. The first thing you'll notice is that it allows various viewing experiences. What does that mean? Well, based off of the ticket that you get or what kind of ticket you get, you will have a certain experience of her show. They're affordable and they'll be available on multiple smart devices such as Apple TV or Chromecast. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the main bar interface again, except this time we're going to look at the ticket stub. Now what the ticket stub is going to do is it's going to show all of your upcoming and previous concert purchase history. It's going to go ahead and take care of any upcoming shows, any shows that have already happened, or any ones that you might have booked throughout the next coming years. It allows you to instantly go ahead and get to them instead of having to search through the library, the archive, or the search option, and it allows users to have a much quicker interface for shows that they've already watched. It allows quicker access to their purchased content, and it grants them archive access or library access, like how I had mentioned. But let's continue. Let's see what this user goes ahead and ends up getting for this Nicki Minaj concert. Ah, so our user went ahead and got the VIP digital ticket for $25. Notice what is included in this digital ticket for center stage, front row, backstage, and VIP. Now that the user has bought their ticket, well, how exactly are they going to pay for it? Well, they can do that wirelessly, through integrated apps, and through such services such as Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Android Pay. Now, the main bar interface, we're going to take a look again one more time. This time, we're going to go ahead and focus on the QR and barcode 3 which is patented for venue, or excuse me, patent pending for venue. Uh, it, it, it's going to be handling basically QR and barcode 3 for any promotions that goes on both locally and online. Uh, it'll ha handle private artist promotions, 
and it'll also handle all the advertising promotions for any advertising companies. We'll get more into that depending on the interest level that you have, but what QR and barcode 3 is going to allow certain artists and advertising companies to do is basically allow a special smart search through any smart device to automatically go ahead and pick and show which show it is that they're trying to watch at either a special discounted rate or with a special promotion that might be going on. If you guys have ever or girls have ever used uh, a QR code it would work exactly the same way. But for now since we've gone ahead and selected our ticket let's go through the process using one of the ones that I've explained and actually get the ticket for our show. So now that our user tapped buy, our app will switch over to one of the many ticket vendoring apps available, such as StubHub or Ticketmaster, to complete the purchase for this particular concert. Once the user has completed their purchase, they will be switched back to this venue screen over here. Now the user can enjoy their show. If it's a concert or show, you'll now see the show or concert icon now appeared, like how you see for Nicki Minaj. You'll also have a new social media interface control panel. You'll have a live concert or show chat section, and you'll be able to enjoy the show at any time. Now let's go ahead and take a look again at the main bar interface. This time, we're going to be looking at the search feature. And basically what the search feature is going to do is it's basically going to allow you to search. You can search for old shows and concerts, artists, upcoming shows or concerts, or various genres. The search feature is basically not going to be limited. If you can think of it, it is going to be searchable. So if you come up with uh, Chingy and you just type up Chingy, boom. Chingy will pop up. Anything that's Chingy, even if it's been 10 years worth of concerts and it's 20 years old or 10 years old, whatever, it'll still pop up as long as Chingy has been in it. But now, let's go ahead and get into some of the other features that Venue will have. Now, let's take a look at some quick app integration that Venue will feature with uh, various social media apps that are available. With the power of Venue, app integration is going to reach new heights. Social media apps are becoming the big thing, and with Venue, we will allow for exclusive custom show filters, exclusive custom concert filters that'll show you are there that'll only be available through Venue. How many of you have not used a fil filter on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Snapchat? Well, with Venue, whenever somebody purchases a concert, like that Nicki Minaj tour concert that we just went ahead and purchased, you will also receive special filters that are given exclusively from the artist or performer for your apps. So once you complete your purchase, new filters, new things will be uploaded onto these apps temporarily or they'll be saved in your venue library that you can turn on and off whenever you want to. So what else can venue do? Well, let's explore. First, let's look at the user bar interface. Right over there, where the user profile picture is. Let's go ahead and press the user profile picture. After pressing the user profile picture, we can see how the user bar interface expands into a venue member area. This is how Venue is going to go ahead and be making most of its income. Venue monthly subscription plans starting with a bronze, silver, or gold, depending on which subscription plan you want to pay for. These will include 
venue member benefits, such as venue VIP tickets, venue rewards points, full archive or library access for all old shows and concerts, discounted ticketed prices, and full QR barcode 3 benefits. Full QR barcode 3 benefits will be available to certain venue subscription members based off of the artist and advertiser's discretion. Meaning, if the musician or the performer or the advertiser, if they're not doing a promotion or something special uh, with their show, then this member is going to still go ahead and receive some type of, of a promotion. Whether if it's a free shirt, a free keychain, whatever it is, this member is going to receive something. It might even be just more added rewards points for going ahead and being a member. But if the musician, artist, performer, advertiser does have a promotion, it'll basically cover any shipping costs, anything that's going to go ahead and be costly to the user to have shipped oh so like if the promotion is you get a free hat and a concert sticker it'll cover all that cost saving both the advertiser and the user money and on top of that it guarantees them a little bit more gift stuff or merchandise from every show that they go to but enough about all that let's check out the archive or the library After tapping the blue archive button in the rainbow menu interface, you'll see the new archive menu. The archive is going to show vintage shows, classic concerts, big festivals, artist tours, black and white shows and concerts, high definition, 3D, 4K, virtual reality, augmented reality, augmented virtual reality shows and concerts. Venue members will be able to watch anytime and they'll be able to create a concert and show list. The second thing we're going to take a look at is our menu bar interface and we're going to be looking at the home button. And what does the home button do? Well it's quite simple. It's always going to return you to the venue home screen. Now before we go ahead and press home, let's take a notice really quickly at some of the stuff that is just shown here for this app prototype. We have the old Coachella concert from earlier this year. We have Katy Perry's Witness Tour from earlier this year. And we also have, what's this? Oh, a classic, Jimi Hendrix performing at the Panhandle concert in 1967. This is going to be one great seller, the archive or the library. Think about all those infomercials that you see that are geared towards the older generation. Buy a DVD collection box set. Buy a CD collection box set with all of your old favorite artists. Well, forget having to have a mountain of DVDs or, DV or Blu-rays or CDs at your home. Now, the older generation and the younger generation can enjoy the benefits of having digital technology and having every artist and performer at the touch of their fingertips for a simple monthly subscription. Let's go ahead and press that home button now. Whoa! That was amazing. We are back home. But wait, there's more. Let's press the user profile picture again. Now that we have our rainbow menu open, we can go ahead and take a look at a couple of things that we have, such as local. What local will do is it'll allow you to see what's going on in your surrounding area. So you'd be able to see things such as the Greek Theater, the Staples Center, the Honda Center, but you'd be also able to see local places such as the gas lamp or Tracy's if they are a venue subscribed business. 
you'll also see integrated Apple Maps and integrated Google Maps featured in this app whenever there is a location that is supporting a venue event. It's also going to feature social media integration, which will allow the user to go ahead and share on social media where a concert is going on and if they want to get there or if they want to go ahead and create a venue party show. The next thing we're going to look at, or excuse me, the next thing we're going to discuss is shop. What the shop is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to browse and purchase all merchandise from all available concerts. It's also going to allow you to get all merchandise from available shows. If a show or a concert is no longer offering merchandise or stuff that they sold from that show or event, then we do not sell it. We are only going to be selling the stuff that the artist or companies presenting those artists are selling, and it will only be for a limited time to keep our lineup new and fresh, just like how every department store would. It's going to sell anything the artist sells as well. So if the artist is currently selling stuff on their website, they will also be able to go ahead and sell it here through Venue as well. And not only that, it will allow Venue to sell exclusive show merchandise with our logo and our stuff. But what else can Venue do? I see a very interesting orange button staring at me. Let's go ahead and press the Performing Arts button and see what happens. Not only will Venue cover shows and concerts, but Venue is going to be covering Performing Arts. It will cover live performances, live shows, all around the world, giving live entertainment, integrated with Apple technology and Google technology, and it'll be simple and easy to use like before. Let's explore a little. I see Chris Rock is playing in New York, and I believe I see Daniel Tosh below, but mm, I'm not really feeling comedy. Let's go ahead and press the menu button. Notice how inside the performing arts section of venue that the drop, that the touch menu has changed. Users now have live shows, comedy, magic, musicals, and much more available when inside of this section of the Venue app. It's going to be easy to use, provide dozens of categories, still customizable inside of settings, and all of this content is also available inside of the archive and library. So enough of all that, let's go ahead and explore some magic. Now I know what you're thinking. Wow, venue sounds great and looks good. But there's something I'm missing here. There has to be a catch, right? Wrong. There is no catch. So let's go ahead and do some magic. And we're going to go ahead and do a venue app and website breakdown of how exactly the math would work and what a simple business day might look like for Venue. Guns N' Roses is having a show at the Staples Center. According to the information that I found online, tickets at the Staples Center for this Guns N' Roses show is $250 a person. According to Wikipedia, the Staples Center seats exactly 19,000 people. If we take $250 and multiply that by 19,000 people, Guns N' Roses for a one-night concert would have made $4,750,000 at the Staples Center without venue. But how much would Guns N' Roses make if they went ahead and had the concert not only at the Staples Center, but with the power of Venue. With Venue, let's say we charge a digital ticket price of $50.
The kind of digital ticket will vary for the concert, so we're just going to go ahead and stick with a base price of $50 covering all the prices of the tickets. So in other words, this is going to be the most expensive ticket, 50 bucks. According to Billboard.com, for this year, Guns N' Roses, excuse me, Guns N' Roses has 1,800,000 fans. Hmm, now that's a lot of fans. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Staples Center will only seat 19,000 of those almost 2 million fans. Well, with the power of venue, all 1,800,000 Guns N' Roses fans would be able to attend the concert at the Staples Center, bringing that one concert $9 million. Instead of a low-budget, low-cost concert of $4 million, we literally would have doubled the seating of Guns N' Roses' concert by over 100% in one day. Now imagine, this is one band doing one concert for one day. If you have a minimum of 10 bands doing a minimum of 10 concerts in a minimum of one month, how much money is that? If you take this same formula, regardless of who it is that is performing, whether if it's Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, you name it, you take the place that they're performing at, you take the number of seats available, multiplied by the price per ticket, and that'll tell you how much that person is going to make for the evening. We quite literally can double that number every time by a hundred percent with the power of venue. Wow, venue sounds amazing. So what are the first steps for venue? Well, the first thing for our users to enjoy venue is to put it on Kickstarter. That way we can get people of all ages enjoying their music, their shows, their concerts, their performances, anywhere they want. Now, if you're looking at our Kickstarter, you might be thinking, that's a lot of money to get something like this started, right? Well, no. No, it's not. Venue is going to need to hire a lot of people. One of these groups is going to be computer team or an information and technologies team. This team is going to be responsible for the venue app, website, and maintenance of all the computer servers. The computer servers are going to basically serve as the library for all of our users' content. Not only that, we are going to take integrated steps with other companies in order to cut costs and allow big computer industries such as Apple, Google, and Microsoft to join our company and save time with both IT and computer server technology. We're going to integrate with them so that way we have our own team as well as their own team. But not only this, we're going to need to focus on a camera crew or optical technology, which is going to provide every single user with high definition, 3D, 4K, virtual reality, augmented reality, you name it. We want to give our user that experience. And not only that, we need to make sure that this app and website is working. We want to make sure that from every little bit, from the idea to the IT team to the computer servers to the cameras we're using is completely functional and completely worth your time and effort as somebody who enjoys the arts. Now it's not going to be easy but with all of your time and dedication and donations 
towards this Kickstarter and towards this project, then you can become a reality and you can be enjoying your favorite artist, your favorite performers, anywhere in the world at the touch of your fingertips. Still not convinced? Why don't you hear a couple of venue slogans? Shows and concerts in the palm of your hand. Still not convinced? What about this slogan? Are you on the venue? Other big shows, such as the Book of Mormon and orchestral performances, were hits all over the globe, setting records for all kinds of theater and playhouses across the world. Imagine what type of records and numbers venue could break by allowing users to watch music and performances all in the palm of your hand. Are they on the venue? This PowerPoint presentation for Venue has been brought to you by MJOS Productions.